Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal, hey market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, trading session Tuesday, 7th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets, let's look at the numbers. Asian markets overnight certainly mixed. You have the uh, Shanghai up again, Hai Shanghai and Hang Seng up, whilst the Nikkei certainly remains lackluster and weak. Okay, bear that in mind, although the Sensex will certainly lower as well. In terms of European markets this morning, it's uh, a mixed message. Uh, FTSE more or less flat, uh, although it is turning negative. Uh, the DAX more or less flat, even with weaker factory orders. The French CAC certainly weaker, down 14 points. The FTSE MIB down at 0.2%. The IBEX and the stocks both are lower. Now, the, the French CAC obviously under pressure due to the uh, political standoff. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, Mr. Filon remains in the race, Macron and Le Pen. And uh, the latest poll really is unchanged. Opinion Way poll, French election poll, sees Macron Le Pen unchanged for the second round. So that certainly isn't good. It does, it's not obviously showing that uh, Macron is gaining, nor is it showing that uh, Le Pen is losing. So that certainly doesn't bode well, especially given the margin for error is so uh, minuscule, given the uh, Brexit and obviously Trump uh, outcome. It certainly does uh, send uh, shudders and uh, shockwaves uh, through the uh, the markets now in terms of uh, the FTSE itself uh, let's just quickly look at the actual economic data overnight you had like for like retail sales lower now the FTSE uh, sales data certainly are weaker indicating consumption patterns certainly dropping you have a Greco down seven percent on uh, our profit warning you have uh, UK consumers certainly weaker as well uh, oil price oil certainly under pressure given the fact that uh, uh, there is talk of the uh, US shale production certainly uh, upticking or ticking higher on the fact that uh, oil prices are going higher and that's in itself obviously causes problems given in terms of the uh, supply equation. Uh, German factory orders down 7%, that certainly isn't uh, a positive sign, okay, uh, a very, uh, 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 well certainly a sign to be uh, a way very off. Uh, lint sales, chocolate sales certainly lower as well, that certainly indicates uh, consumption patterns dropping as well disposable income obviously being reduced. US markets were weaker overnight and Nikkei obviously lower as well. Uh, we also have the uh, potential uh, Brexit vote again today uh, in the uh, second round and uh, it looks like Miss May will certainly look to lose that as well and the uncertainty certainly is increasing there too. Okay, so let's see exactly where we are technically after yesterday's uh, price action. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX. Let's go to the daily chart here and for first and foremost. Now, the German DAX is still consolidating within this green candle, okay? As long as it holds the pivot low at uh, 11,915, bulls are in control. As soon as that 11,915 is broken and cracked, we're basically going vertically lower and you're going towards 11.840 gap fill. Obviously, if this key diagonal trend line were to break, then you have more problems as well, okay? So certainly bear that in, in mind. Now, the 60-minute chart on the German DAX at the moment was still uh, being obedient to this key diagonal trend line. So again, lower lows, lower highs, although we have seen, we certainly seem to have made a base here. The unfilled gaps certainly remain uh, open. Well, one is certainly open here. Okay, is which is currently seen at 12030. So watch out for that. Obviously, you have the gap below as well, which is at 11830. So watch out for that. So you say certainly have a battle between two gaps, okay, on the German DAX. 10 minute chart, you certainly seem to have made a base here now at uh, 11, 8, 11930. So if the market or the DAX does flush, 11930 will certainly act as support. So just bear that in mind. Now, cross referencing that, or cross -referencing that with the uh, MDAX 50, you can see the MDAX 50 certainly double top. Double top there, okay. In terms of support, you'd certainly have support down here. So, again, if it were to flush, you certainly have a support below. So, watch out below. Tech or share index certainly perking higher, certainly showing some strength. So, bear that in mind. In terms of the German DAX, okay. Let's look at the French CAC now. <clears throat> French CAC daily chart at the moment, you still <clears throat> have an inside bar. Obviously, if that uh, lower body were to break, which is seen at uh, 4950, then it does open up the way for 4930, and then obviously gap fill at 49860. So watch out below. 60 minute chart, you are coming into potential support at 4950. If that were to break, then you are looking at 4910, and then eventually gap fill at 4860. So certainly watch out below in terms of the French CAC. Again, you have horizontal support around the 4940, 4950 zone. Uh, again, if that were to break, there's no real support below. So just uh, be careful.
Exercise caution. Again, you have the unfilled gap above that 4995, so bear that in mind as well. Okay, in terms of FTSE 100, it certainly held resistance around that 47360 zone. Okay, so again, impressive. Daily chart at the moment is still consolidating above previous resistance equal support. Certainly a very strong possibility that we can get to 7310 before we actually uh, attempt to uh, break higher, so just bear that in mind, although you are, you do have support at 7340. Now the bear flag formation certainly is in motion on the FTSE 100, so bear that in mind, you have a bear flag and you're looking at 7330, 7315 minimum, okay? 7330, 7315 minimum from my understanding and my perspective on the FTSE 100. Now the 10 minute chart at the moment, again, certainly indicating weakness. We'll see what happens at 7.340 for now. 7.340 is the your, is your uh, uh, bedrock and is your support zone for now. Okay, I think that's a good summation of uh, European indices. Uh, please be sure to visit cfts.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye now.